Welcome to Game Breakers. My name is Thomas. I am here with Allison, David, and Diamond, and we are continuing a Bard's Tale of Dungeons and Dragons 5th Edition game. When last we left our intrepid heroes, you were questing in a mine in the Feywild, where you had heard that giants from the army you defeated had holed up. Uh, further, you had heard that the gargantuan bullet, which was the mount of the general that you slew, is also there in hiding and too much for the residents to handle on their own. Upon arriving, it turns out there's also something else horrible there. Uh, tiny Gru that are the harbingers of some extra planar madness. Uh, but... Unperturbed, you what repaired the crane to descend into the mine shaft above the portal to the plane of Earth, and from thence assaulted the the uh, the giant encampment. And I'll go ahead and pop you over to the map right now. The very, very last thing that happened was the last giant attempted to retreat. And you heard, uh, specifically Click Clack, you heard it speaking in, in giant, reporting your arrival, uh, begging forgiveness for their failure, and, and then begging for its life for just a moment before dying horribly and loudly. Uh, ac across the Quicksilver Waterfall, the upward-flowing Quicksilver Waterfall that marks the current boundary of, of what you've explored in, in this tunnel. What do you guys do? To ask Armor of Agathus. You did uh, also, with your with your sharp gnomish ears, click clack, uh, hear approaching footsteps of something, uh, pro not maybe not as large as as the, a giant, but bigger than than anyone involved in this battle so far, <laughs> or bigger than anyone current currently standing. Uh, Click Clack at first looks genuinely annoyed that someone else killed that giant instead of him. And then just announces, Someone's coming. Um, could we understand the language it was speaking? I mean, the giant spoke in giant. Mm. The reply. It, uh, the the only hint of reply was some some sort of wailing, screeling, uh, screech. It, it was not a word in so much as a noise. Hmm. I'm also gonna ask, like, go ahead and cast comprehend languages because. There's communication happening. I assume okay. I'm intelligent enough to tell there's communication happening. So oh. those are both active on me. It should also be noted that there is a visible miasma uh, floating around the entire area. It's not obscuring anything. It's not causing shadow. But there's a feeling that you are intersecting something else can can i is there a knowledge check i can roll for that or maybe our may, arcana now that you're deep into it and have a moment to breathe only a moment though okay what's everyone else doing how do you position yourselves what are you preparing to do mr Rob? I'm I'm doing an arcana check to see what the heck's happening because like creepy fog. I'm like, what is it? This was terrible last time. Um, that is a twenty-five. On arcana. Yes. It is very likely that there is something nearby 
that is in the process of creating a planar intersection. Okay. So Whether we're about it's a portal or a breach. It's hard to tell. So over the the, the earphones, I guess. Um, we're about to get something from another plane attacking us, which is probably worse. Uh, and I'm just well, going to assume attacking us because that's how the day's going. And with the level of your success and the added uh, presence of those tiny, of those small twisted creatures, uh, there's a really good chance that it is not from what would be called the traditional cosmos. Uh, it, it's not from one of those planes that's mapped and has influence in the material plane. It's from one of those planes that is referred to only in books that drive people mad. Um, also, it's... I don't know how to say that to them without essentially repeating the thing you just said right now, so we'll just pretend that I said that to them in my own words, because it's not happening. Okay. <laughs> All right, strong as a bar, she'll get the point across. <laughs> How are you guys positioning yourselves? Probably. Do we know where it's popping up? Click, clack, can I just hang out on Lovelace? Because seriously, I'm going to die otherwise. <laughs> this keeps happening. I need a mount. Um, you remember we healed up after last time, right? Yeah, I only got... Oh, um, you cast Healing Spirit, better. right? Yeah. And yeah. then right. you know. I never got the what healing spirit does for me. It's a heal over time. So the, oh. every round you stand next to it you get healed. So oh. so we we had just you guys you guys are, are going to have at least 10 15 rounds to to breathe and, and just like take stock. So I'm pretty sure that's going to fill you you guys all the way back up. Yeah. It's 1d6 every round. To everyone within 30 feet. So, so just for purposes of figuring it out, uh, after the first minute, roll 10d6. And, and, and heal that for everybody. Or I can do it quick. Just tell us what it is and we'll improve it. David's roll was better. 40. What? 40. 40. Points. Really? Yeah. yeah. After the first minute. That's amazing. Yeah. That's nice. It's magic. <laughs> That does put ne me nearly to full. Plus, it's and, uh, Lawrence also receives that. I know he had some hoof and ankle chewing going on. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, I want to remind you that I have true seeing active. Okay. Just in case that becomes relevant. noted. Stan, you're still. Holding on to daylight? Currently, yes. Okay. The the thing we're hearing, it's coming from the west, map-wise? Yes. Across Behind that, wall that of silver... Across that, that lighter gray is the is the waterfall? Yes. The, the mercury and fall, mercury rise? I don't know. Th this is a hole... Uh, that's the that's wall. Uh, that's okay. uh, a, um, where, where some of the some of the ceiling has has fallen back down, and there's there's rubble pile that goes from floor to floor to ceiling. Can I tell which side of the hole or which side of the wall is a better spot to meet whatever the hell this is? Like just going by sound, which which direction would I guess is the better? Uh, the the footsteps have stopped. You heard 
uh, the the steps as well as as several smaller uh, probably those grew uh, so, sounds like they clustered up somewhere on the other side of the waterfall and, and have stopped okay we're just gonna move up here I'm on the crab, but you get the idea. Yes. And How about the rest of you? I guess Thrawn is moving with us, but I can't move her. Before your familiar was was tragically dashed by uh, one of the giants, uh, just pulverized, it did warn you that it sensed madness in the Quicksilver. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, I oh, guess... Right. No. <laughs> I heard that. I'm sorry. I thought it was also just sort of like, yes, Mercury. Oh, we're probably talking about magical madness. I had that realization like when I couldn't sleep after last game. <laughs> God. Well, Thank look, you for the reminder. Um, as you get closer to it, this is a much more pure form of Quicksilver than, than you have seen. I mean, this comes straight out of the elemental plane of Earth. So it, it's it's pure in a way that, that it never is on the material plane. Y'all, I think if we in any way touch this, and I'm actually a little concerned about even getting near this curtain of Quicksilver. You'll notice I'm not right next to it. <laughs> yeah, but if I don't inform both of you, then Stan doesn't know. <laughs> um, that we may... Um, temporarily go mad and that could be big and bad and dangerous especially with so I, people with hammers if I can see the other side of it at any point I could do misty step across I have that spell I once did everybody by putting everybody in my hold it bag of holding but I don't I, what's my visibility through the waterfall zero it's not. It's not water. It's it's mercury. Water, yeah, silver. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. Mercury ball sounds like a weird sci-fi that I'd love to watch. <laughs> we could maybe block something so that I could see. I don't know. Uh, other ideas? Kit can. Can Lovelace tell if where people are on the other side? She has blind sight. No. Uh, blind sight at what? 30? Oh, 30 feet. I could move up a little bit if, if need be. Currently, all she senses from uh, there okay. is is waterfall. Um, I'm going to shoot an arrow through it just to see what happens. Okay. Before you do that... <laughs> Um, I'm gonna keep trying this thing, like, is this thing on? Does this work? Let's see how this works. This is an experimentation it, battle. And can it have two things active at the same time? It could, but you That's already spent the charges. The, oh, how it's many? only got five, there's no way to activate them both in one day. One costs three, one costs five, it, it maxes out at five charges. Uh, never mind. I know you told me this, but the place I wrote it down is gone. That's fine. Never mind. If Never you mind. get a little you closer, click clack. I, I, you said you said you were probing a little closer with Lovelace's blind sight. She can tell there's a few places where it's thin, um, like up here. That's the about the thinnest point. I could try to dispel. If you if you gave an indication, I did not see it. It is north of you a ways. Should be a black circle pinging. Nope. I see it. How about now? There we go. All right. Yeah. Okay. That's and, yeah. We're figured. Um, Stan, if you saw it, it meant you're logged into the wrong account. 
I see I see two GMs. Uh, go to settings and rejoin as player. Because <laughs> I was clicking on the GM layer. So if you saw oh. it, you're on you're on the wrong account. <laughs> uh, logged in on my computer. This is a great minute mo- moment to mention that Alice also <laughs> GMs a game. It has to do with pirates. Yar. And yet I'm the one with the eye patch. <laughs> <laughs> Is why I played a type. <laughs> Alright, well, I just logged out and I'm now logging into my my other player account. Oh. You, you could have just, in the settings, clicked rejoin as player. But, next time. I know, I didn't want to. Okay. So, click like, you launch an arrow through? Yeah. Okay. I mean, you aiming for anything? You trying to trying to go across that thin I, spot? I'm, I'm giving my best guess of where, uh, a best blind guess of where someone might be, but most of them just seeing how well this penetrates. Okay. It's hard to tell after the first eight inches or so. But it looks like it's holding its trajectory okay, but it's definitely, like, it might make it through, but not by much. All right. And mostly it's the, it's the force of the flow that's, uh, that's interrupting it. It's more viscous than water. Do I, do I think a dispel magic would, uh, or dispel, yeah. The spell magic would affect it. I don't know why you would. <laughs> you have Arcana? Dude, yeah, I don't, yeah. Mm. Hey, Sharana. Huh? Do you think if I use dispel magic on this, it would, it would do anything useful? Um, I think that about a 19. What does that get me? <laughs> No, this this has more to do with the nature of the, the, the material. There's no there's no spell or enchantment or anything to be unwoven. Yeah, but it's more like another part plane is interacting with ours. It's not about a spell that's been cast. It's more like it's honestly closest to an actual waterfall on our plane. Just not. <laughs> All right. While, while they're having this conversation, out of nowhere, way louder than this because I have roommates, Clay Clack goes, Hello! Okay. Was he? Did he say that in Giant? Yes. So, yeah. Cover my head like, ah, no, no, no. I'm totally changing my glamorous stud, like my glamour so that it looks like the crab. All right, hiding as best you can. Uh, yes, there, there's a moment. I mean, it, it just echoes, uh, echoes through. It, it's swallowed a bit in the dull roar of the of uh, of the wall of mercury. Stan, what was that? I cast Shield of Faith on myself. Okay. And it's quiet for a moment. And then... By the way, Strona, if you want to blend in, you should make yourself look like more backpack. Okay. It's it's the, the same idea as, like, what is behind me? I'm becoming that. I look like that. Like, I, I essentially am treating the glamorous studded leather like an octopus. Yeah. Kettlefish as, defense mechanisms. As the shield of faith goes on, by the way, that means daylight goes out. Eh. Which is only really a problem for Stan. Try to aim where you hear me Good shooting. Yeah, you know, it's a hammer. I don't have to be super accurate. Let's go. <laughs>
there there comes back a, a grating it's like something that is familiar with common but is trying to speak it with a face that is not meant for common it doesn't have the lip mouth tongue combination in the right positions uh, and it says, Go away. No. You may flee. Um, possibly. I'd like to strike it for Or enter and face your doom. I'd rather you came out here. <laughs> <laughs> Your wishes do not matter. Hey guys, he's afraid. Maybe you should play some really bad bagpipe music until they come out. I mean, since we're going this way anyway. I'm confused by that qualifier. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> also, they're short pipes. Not to be pedantic or anything. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yes, while I figure out what the heck I'm going to cast to try and stop this um, waterfall for a minute. I mean, I, mean, I, I had one idea. Would force damage affect it? Because, like, I, here's the thing. I think of force damage, I think of literally, like, you know, the force of hitting someone. The You get hit with um, a wave. Yeah, it's, good example. It, it's force. It's, it is an impact. Yeah. Would that affect this curtain of liquid in, an, in a way that... I not a, not in a way I can imagine. Tell me how. Tell me what you're thinking. I probably not, and not in any permanent way, because there's just more coming up. No, not in any permanent way, but like if you think of it as like a playing a platformer, like you push the the invisible hand of I don't know thunder wave is what I was glancing at just a second ago, like pushes yes. that and we run through at the same time. It's a timing thing. There, so there is a hit by it. There is a very outside chance that that would work and I should also point out that this isn't like a, a wall that's just flowing in a circle. There's a ledge from which downward is seems to be an infinite supply of flowing mercury mm -hmm. rushing upward like oh, there's not a there's not a up. floor to run across yeah it is <laughs> i didn't get that until just now I sorry I've, i keep i keep referring to it as a fall but it's falling upward okay the water raised the roof made of yeah the mercury uh, right okay. a mercury rise versus a waterfall I collect my fortress. You left it. Damn it. <laughs> you very specifically left it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, I can get part of us there, but I don't think it's a good idea, so I'm not offering that. <laughs> your, your best guess is the thinnest point is about 15 feet across. That's that's what you'd have to clear one way or another. How crazy y'all want to go. And like, click clack, can you like make an um, um, your umbrella be underneath? That That's actually what I was thinking of. By the way, I just sneezed really painfully and I sneezed so hard that Nova fell out of her hammock. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> That's how things are on my end. Um, <laughs> like my my first thought was the umbrella, but if it's if everything's going up. I have an idea, but it's tricky. Okay. Listening. Between the umbrella, uh, the grapple arrow, and the winch, I could make a... Swinging platform. We can't just cover it with art. <laughs> what? Nada. Nada. Like, Nada. like the the umbrella would need to be underneath us because the it's falling upward, but we still need to move the umbrella somehow. <sighs> I'm all out of... I'm all disorganized, sorry. If you have some sort of lifting and moving a heavy thing spell, great. I'm all disorganized and my hands don't work, sorry. This pause is not happening in game. It's just happening no, while I there I, you go. I think uh, it really we're all dead. as you're as you're all just like, what the actual damn it. They're <laughs> really not coming out here, are they? <laughs> <laughs> I can get Honestly, Click Clack is just thinking about the thing that he was going to build next. But he hasn't been home. So I can get Stan and I through, or you and I through, and I can't get Lovelace through, but Lovelace may be able to get herself through? I don't really know. What do you want to do? I can get two of, I can get me and another one of you two through. Somebody puts, uh, some people travel in bags of holding. That's my suggestion. But what about Lovelace? I don't know. I mean, I can shrink her if I need to. That's a thing? You can do that thing? <laughs> what? I, I, we, we got a potion of reduce a oh. year ago. <laughs> well, that's why we don't remember it. Well, that might be useful. But like, it, it, would, it would fit her into a bag... And being a crab, she can hold her breath for a very long time. And I have a tank. How long well, we will... don't have to go for particularly long. It never yeah. it never starts out that way in the planning stage. That's definitely the case. I'm more concerned about the the crab loveless not being big soon enough. Because I mean it sounds like there's a fight on the other side of that. We'll, we'll adapt. I could also um, give her some additional resistance so that as she goes through, she's less likely to get mad. I would rather not send her through whatever the hell that is. Okay. So even, even reduce, it's like... She shrinks to the size of a manhole cover. So our options are presently either we click clack creates a swinging gurney thing that we dramatically go through on or we dramatically go through a magic door. Strata. You do know that your familiar was immune to poison. And this is probably a poison effect. 
just FYI, guys, this is it, it's poison that you're looking at. It's, okay. an, it's an external substance that has a, has a chemical effect on your body. This is a poison. Not a magic? Okay. Oh, that's been covered. This, this isn't a magic madness. This is a poison madness. We did the magic madness. That was with the mushrooms. Wait, I have a thing. How is she on, like, poison resistance? Uh, how would you say that in real life? Uh... <laughs> Let's just pretend you did. Yeah, oh, sure. Let's do uh, that. <clears throat> I mean... I can cast protection from poison. Oh, I didn't prepare it today, though. Yeah, I just have from evil and good. Click, clack, I think the decision is uh, on you. I have vials of cure poison. <laughs> so, like, once you get fucked up, I can help you, but... Let me, let me... Yes. I remember... No, I don't know what happened personally when she went mad, but I assume that you've told me about it at this point. Because I wasn't you there with that. Yes. You, you, were, you were watching that in the little... Uh, oh, right. In the little, like, dream ball, never-ending story seed. That's right. That's right. Um, and I think How good is she, generally speaking, is at protecting from poisons? Like, my brain is just like, crabs don't get poisoned. What? Like... <laughs> well, yeah, they do. Crab death. It's... That's... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you, you don't hang out with a lot of crabs. <laughs> no, I don't. It's true. I eat them. That was not in character. <laughs> Definitely nowhere close to in character. Crab blood is transparent. Which is why we can have crab feasts and not feel like mass murderers. Because we'll be covered in their blood and not know it. So I, uh, I, I, I'm like well, okay. sensitive. I'm sensitive to shellfish. And I really like them. I don't get like, I don't get like iodine allergic reactions, but I get, um, everything goes through really quickly. So I eat a lot of cheese when I eat crab. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway. <laughs> so after a few minutes of uh, of you all all commiserating and trying to figure out, uh, by the way, if if your sh shield of faith, uh, any any of those buffs that were only a minute, um, will have will have passed. Uh, okay. Yeah. But it's not long. Eight hours. Eight hours. Oh wait, no, that's a different one. No, I was going to say, Shield of Faith? No way. Yeah, mine are, both of my buffs I have on are an hour, so I'm good. Okay. All right. The, uh, you, there's a little rumble under the ground. It's very, very quiet. And, uh, and from back a little ways, um, Stan, you'll hear it. The other two of you will see it. You see uh, a, a tiny little head with massive, beautiful hair. Uh, like it's, it's not the, it's not the chieftain, but it's definitely one, like it's, it's quaffed in just such a way that, you know, multiple, multiple strands of, of different metals. And, uh, it, it just pokes, pokes its head up. It's like, oh, you're not dead. Can I grab it? How do we grab it? It's a, it's a ways back. It's, a, it's one of the, it's one of the miners. It's one of the core. Oh, it's a miner. You said. Yeah. You didn't tell me who it was. Uh, I, I was describing one of the Korid. It's it, not the chieftain. It, it didn't yes. description, not in name. I forgot what they looked like. Now you remember. Yay. So it pokes up. Oh! You're not dead yet? No. Everything alright? It's a work in progress. 
Great. Do you have a way to protect from poison? Uh, nope. I didn't even bother asking. I, I just minors, right? I'm just... <laughs> the uh, as it as it tunnels away, you 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 get the idea that maybe it mines a little bit differently than than dwarves back home, as it as as it just basically swims through the stone uh, back away. So click click. I think we're running. I I feel like we might be running out of time. What do you want to do? Put her in a uh, bag and. Hope that she gets bigger soon enough, or do you want to run the risk of her getting briefly I, poisoned? I'd already declared a while ago. I'd rather put her in the bag. Okay, then good. I guess that's what. Let's do it. <clears throat> we need to make sure that all of the data was available. I for decisions. I rummage through the bag and pull out the potion of. Of reduced creature or whatever it's called, and feed it to her. Okay. I think she goes down a size category. Is how it works. Yep, she becomes small from medium. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And we Did put her in take- the bag like we're trying to throw away a pizza box in the kitchen trash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hold in tight, hold in tight. Come mm-hmm. on, squeeze, take a deep breath. <laughs> that doesn't work so well when you have a carapace. <laughs> yeah, I, I understand why that was. Yes, I was mere TV. Adorable. That's all. That's all. Um, and then after she's in, like, your turn. Mask on. Activate tank. Dive in. Make it quick. Dive in. And I'm going to go to uh, Stan, because I know Stan can't see nearly as well. And uh, do Dimension Door, which is um, anywhere I can see or describe. The describe ah, is that is important. Um, yes. So, we are going um From where uh, there's, you know, there's a wall of mercury, right? So from the point where that ends, 30 feet into the next cavern or half the distance of that cavern, whichever is, um, if 30 feet is too long, then half the distance of that cavern. Half into the next room. That's what we're doing. (laughs) So, so even though it's one action, you cast it uh, over the course of about a minute. Okay, Dimension Door. <laughs> yeah. Here's where we're going. Keep up. This is, this is like getting a wish from a genie. Like, here's the precision for reals. And then as soon, like, just for that, like, as soon as we're through, like, foot is through, I'm dumping them out of the bag. If other stuff falls out, it falls out. And the point is getting the compatriots out as quickly as possible. Breathe! Breathe! And I just walk through. And actually, for purposes of visibility, you guys will... And I need a bio break, so whenever we have a good moment for that. I, I was just going to say, you, you step out... And ooh, I need to change a layer. One moment. I'm just doing the measurements. 30 feet. Except you don't bring the body of the giant. Yes. The whole point was us not going into walls, so... Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, I, it just was the, the way you were stacked. Yeah. Uh, the So you see a large cavern uh, uh, with, with uh, such things on the other side 
And you also see, smiling cruelly before you, a hulking figure. You, you would mistake its presence for an ogre, except its skin is completely translucent, has, has just a little, a little glimmer like saran wrap as it, as, it, as it turns its big old toothy maw towards you. Uh, you, can, you can clearly see just all muscle, no fat. Uh, underneath it, and it is carrying uh, one, one of those uh, 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 giant mind glass blades uh, that the giants had, uh, although they had it in great club form. It, it looks at you, says, Oh, good, you came, and, and motions forward for the Gru. And that's a perfect point to cut for a moment. Dun, dun, dun! And we will roll initiative when we return. Thank you, everybody, for watching. We, this is Game Breakers. If you like what you see, hit like. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. And if you want it to get better, check out the Patreon and the doobly-doo. Meanwhile, have a good game.